Hello YouTube. So this is Mudassir from This is Office. In this tutorial, we're gonna see how we can create a simple MSV-based uh, application using Python. So first of all, let's see what we have in our view. If I run this, you can see we have this simple application which has a text field, a button, two buttons. Uh, if we uh, if we want to add data, we can add. We can uh, press this button and it will do some function which is not implemented right now we're going to implement in just a second now what we see we have this super clause init constructor which is inheriting by uh, this frame then we have our root widget in our class view then we're creating and packing our frame in create widget we are creating three main things we, we uh, that we have seen in our application which is a text field and a entry uh, a text field and a uh, two buttons so this is the text field which has all the variables like text text variable which is going to be text and a button one we are binding some button like whenever you, when someone clicks on it the default text will be removed and uh, on our on this we have our button one which is add we are also binding it with button one and which is calling the add data function in our view class which is here which is doing nothing but removing some data right now we're going to implement this logic lately then we have our root root uh, dot bind which is binding our entire application with enter key when we whenever someone press the enter key from the keyboard it is going to add data in our controller and then move further uh, and uh, to our repository which is going to be a database but we are not uh, connecting to our real database we are going to make our own database so on our other button we have view which is going just to display the button on the screen or on the console we will see we will see later what are we going to do so let's move further first of all we have to implement the enter logic whenever somebody press enters or uh, click on add button so what are we going to do here we are, we are going to create a controller object controller is equals to new controller or no need to fret or uh, get disappointed that we haven't discussed about controller we are going to discuss in a, uh, in a second it is nothing but some a class which is implementing some of the methods so let's see in controller we are going to add text a text is equals to self dot text field the text field we have dot get now what this get, what the, uh, this get to is it returns the text okay it just simply returns the text and add it to controller now in our controller class what we, we have here is uh, we have imported model and services modules and we have their objects here now we are going to, we're going to, we're going to use this model and services objects to get and save data we have added text to our add text method from our view now we're going to make a model first of all we're going to call the self dot model method and we're going to uh, let's see what we have here oh i have to implement the model class first my bad let's move towards the model class uh, you can see we have nothing in our model class First of all, we're going to make, we're going to make a, a text variable which is none initially. Then we're going to make an instructor uh, which is definitely getting our text from the user and we're assigning it to our text variable here. It is not node, it is none then we have we have some getters that uh, attribute uh, do we use this no we are going to make our own set uh, text and we're getting some text and we are cell dot text is equals to text and we have a getter which is going to get uh, text it is just simply returning cell dot text we have completed our model class now let us uh, go back to our controller class and add it to our model class so we have to make this here 
and it is at model self dot model sorry self dot model dot I hope no I haven't implemented self dot model equals to model class and it is going to take an text by default now our model is set what are we going to do is we are going to call our service to add this uh, we have implemented for CS. Yes. Uh, we are going to make an implementation in our service class uh, you can see we have an object of a repository which uh, we are going to show in a bit first of all we have we can implement you can see this is nothing to explain we have this two method that is hanging and model class object so what are we going to do with model class object we are going to call our repository our database to add I haven't implemented this either so I have to implement it first uh, let us uh, implement the database so it has a uh, name no I haven't I had it let us implement it so what are we going to do we are going to make model class dot get text and we are going to implement the append it sorry append it in our list and that's it I hope so. List uh, dot and uh, what is self dot list and it is not even a list. Okay. And if I get it, I will simply returning our list. So I think here we are done. Let me add the return keyword. So in our services, we have to call the repository now. Repo, sorry, repo dot okay self dot repo I almost I always forget this add data by text we're going to pass simple our model class object and our work is done now we are we're also getting this service uh, the text from the server class we're going to call the repo again which is self dot repo again I forgot about it and uh, we're going to call get it data simply we're done with our service class now let us uh, create our model i think we are done here view we are controller now we can control we can add our model we can call service sorry self dot service dot uh, add data to database which is going to be our self dot model object and we are also getting data from service class not the repository because we haven't made an uh, you know, what you say a object of repository here because this is a separate file it is an independent from the repository the controller is always independent from our database so let us call this service and dot get data from the service class and we're also returning it here now we can call we can get all the data and add the data to the our main uh, from our view class so we have added the text and for the view we can just simply do is uh, print I guess the data controller I think I need to make this a global variable global not variable a global object and I'm going to call it like self.controller yes now we're going to call it here self.controller dot get data I think our work is here is done let us take a quick test by running it so let me add some Alex I'm going to click on add it did work now oh Elena sorry now let us click on the view button and you see we got nothing I think we have a little issue here is that controller dot get data is getting the service dot get data service new service and also data let us see what is an issue what's an issue here oh I think I know the issue I didn't return it I'm not used to with this coding I mostly do JavaScript and Java but I don't know Python quite good I've been working with it 
so let us I guess uh, run our application again now Alex is enter center a nice guy now let us see why uh, that we have uh, we have added our data into uh, our database is it viewing a yes alex is a nice guy now as you can see our little application is ready and fully fledged now what is the basic purpose of making it to uh, through this mv3 architecture design pattern so if you see we have all the modules all the classes separately from each other separated from each other now we, if we want to do some logic we just have to do go is in our service class service class and implement some logic here and nothing else will change no controller can be changed no controller should be changed because it is independent from all other uh, perspectives of uh, our uh, application let us say we wanted to make uh, we want to strip all the uh, uh, extra spaces from start and to end of our sentences like if somebody added a space here and a here now if we wanted to uh, remove these we can add our logic here by just calling model dot set project dot uh, I think it is set text it equals to model dot get text uh, dot strip I think this is the right answer I hope it should be now let us call our application again now let me add some spaces before ABCD plus enter now spaces ABCD and then spaces more and then add it now I'm going to view it now you see we don't have any space from start or end on both of our appendixes uh, now this is the main feature of our application and our service class we can add all the logic we want and our repository or model or controller class will not have an effect thank you for sticking with me through this uh, we're going to see each other in